wonder if your local public pool is really as clean as it looks or smells? Some of the germs that are swimming right along beside you might surprise you, and that strong chlorine smell? Not necessarily a good thing. I'm Dr. Lisa Kachara, professor of biomedical sciences at Quinnipiac University. And as an immunologist, I study how germs spread in public places. Now, swimming is a great way to beat the summer heat, but it's not without its risks. A 2023 CDC report tracked over 200 pool-related outbreaks, affecting over 3,600 people. These included ear, skin, respiratory, and gastrointestinal infections. And even with chlorine, not all germs are killed instantly or at all. For example, the cryptosporidium can actually survive in chlorine-treated water for up to 10 days. It causes watery diarrhea, and it is spread when contaminated fecal matter enters the pool and is swallowed. Even a tiny amount invisible to the naked eye is enough to infect dozens of people. Another common offender is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which causes hot tub rash and swimmer's ear. Here's something that most people get wrong. A strong chlorine smell does not necessarily mean the pool is clean. In fact, that smell comes from chloramine, which are chemical byproducts formed when chlorine mixes with substances such as human sweat and urine. A truly clean pool shouldn't have much odor at all. Want a safer pool experience? Shower for at least one minute before swimming. Stay out of the water if you're sick, especially with diarrhea. Don't swallow pool water. Take regular bathroom breaks. Change diapers away from the pool. Dry your ears thoroughly after swimming. Don't swim with an open wound unless it's covered with a completely waterproof bandage. Shower after you swim. And remember, clean pools don't smell like chlorine. Follow us and visit theconversation.com for more trustworthy and informative news.